Hi, I'm Sam Hargate, an exterior designer from Aston Martin, and today we're going to be sketching the DBX. So this is how DBX started back in 2015. The design brief was to create Aston Martin's first SUV, and the challenge was to bring our design DNA to a new type of car. Importantly, it started just like this, with a biro and a clean sheet of paper. This car was designed from the ground up, so it wasn't constrained by an existing platform, which allowed us to hone the proportions and balance interior space with exterior elegance. This car's got a real TARDIS feeling. It feels much bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. At the front, obviously the most notable feature is the signature Aston Martin grille. Whilst designing this, we took a lot of inspiration from iconic DBs of the past, such as DB5. Either side of the grille is heavily sculpted, and in the corners, the daytime running lights don't just give a distinctive on-road presence, but also act as an aerodynamic duct to help reduce drag. You can see that we push the wheels right to the corners of the car to maximise the interior space, whilst at the same time these short overhangs really help to keep the exterior looking compact and athletic. You can see inside view, DBX has got a powerboat stance. It's similar to Vantage in that it has a single, elegant falling shoulder line that connects the front to the back in one confident gesture. Beneath which, flared arches give a real muscular feel, with minimal metal over the front wheel just like you get on a sports car. A key part of our design DNA is a side stroke. You can see here this sits on top of a fender vent which actually takes its inspiration from GT12. This aperture is designed to release pressure from the front wheel arch, again helping to reduce drag. When you look at DVX, you'll notice the doors are very sculptural, something not normally associated with SUVs. As a DB, we were really keen to sculpt the car as dramatically as we do our GT and sports cars. Another link with the DNA advantage is the signature-like graphic and tailgate flip at the back of the car. To allow the flip to generate downforce, this actually works in combination with the roof spoiler, which directs air over the rear screen and therefore negating the need for a wiper. Wherever possible, we always try and declutter our cars to give the impression of seamless sculpture. This is a car that really came alive whilst being sculpted by hand as a full-size clay model. A lot of care has been taken to apply beautiful surfacing to a new proportion. It's been fantastic being part of such an important car in the company's history, but of course it takes a huge amount of work from an entire team throughout the development of the car, ensuring that it's got the right level of craft both inside and out to be unmistakably Aston Martin. <laughs>